Frank, what's up? It's no use anymore, Brad. It's not gonna work. What's not gonna work? Frank, what's wrong? She can't stand me. Whenever I get near her, she runs away. I can't even talk to her. It's like some kind of force is like working against us. Whoa, whoa, Frank. What's going on? Who are you talking about? Alice, aluminum, and I thought it would work out perfectly. You know, I've had the same problems myself. I always had this thing with, for Cindy Chlorine, but I could never seem to bond with her. I don't know. I've been eyeing Cindy for a long time, but I just knew it wasn't going to work for some reason. We're both halogens, and I know it's better for us to end up with alkali metals. Hey guys, what's up? I don't know. Frank's been having some problems. Some real serious problems. But I don't really know what's going on. Do you think you can help? Yeah, sure. What is it? Uh, Nesbit nitrogen again? I've always had this thing about Nesbit. No, no, no. Nesbit, too, Nesbit, too, Nesbit, too. These names, they just kind of get to me sometimes. No, no. Good. I couldn't stand it when you went on and on about her. You went about how you and Nesbit Nitrogen would go and share your electrons. I mean, just because your electronegativities are so different doesn't mean you should just jump into a relationship. I know you both need electrons, and I know it seems like the easiest way to complete your octet is to just share them. But I don't think you should... But I think you should think a little before launching into these relationships. Come on, Sam, can't you see he's really upset? Cut it out. Yeah, Sam, what's gotten into you? I'm sorry, I guess it was just, just... Don't worry about me, Sam. It's obvious whenever you might happen to think about Nesbitt. But let's talk about you now, okay? I don't, I didn't mean... Yes, Sam, how are you doing? I didn't really want to talk about me, but I didn't think Brad knew why. He wasn't supposed to fi out, find out, but we were both eyeing the same halogen. Oh, you know, I've been looking around. Nothing special. Oh, come on, Sam. I know what you've been up to. You do? All those nights you sit out alone, gazing at the stars, thinking of Cindy Chlorine. You think I don't notice, Sam? Well, I do. Why, Sam? Why does it have to work out for you, and why can't it ever work out for me? There, there, Brad. It's all right. It's not all right. Tell me, Sam. Tell me why it works. No. You really want to know? Yes, tell me. We only have five. All right, here's how it goes. I've only got one electron. One lone, teensy tiny electron. I want to be happy, Brad. I really do. And in order to do that, I need seven more electrons. But I'm not strong enough. Brad, I can't take seven electrons away from one of the halogens. They're just too powerful. So I've got to give one uh, electron up. And I give it to her, and I gotta stick with her forever. I form an ionic bond and transfer my, my electron to her. That way we've got eight electrons between us. And once she grabs hold of my electron, the attraction between us is so strong. Why is she attracted to you and not me, huh? When I give up my electron, I become positive. Are you sure? I'm positive. So you're positive. So then what happens? Then, when she takes my electron, she becomes negative. Opposite charges attract. So, well, that's just how it works. Fine, fine. Be that way. So what about you, Frank? Have you gotten over Alice Aluminum yet? No, but oh my, look over there at Ferris Fiona. Don't you see? We're both iron. It, I'm sure it'll work out. Of course we had to stay relatively spaced out. In order for our electrons to move freely, our nuclei will have to be spaced out. Hey Frank. Hey Fiona. So I guess that's it. Yeah, for some of us, it's just not gonna work. Hey, get that camera off! Get out of here!